How many times have you searched my house? Right, it's getting a bit obvious now, isn't it? Yeah, what you do to me and the harassment that I receive is getting a little bit obvious, isn't it? Hello, Matthew Williams here, just bringing you a quick video to say I've had a list now from the police, I requested it, of what they took from my premises and <laughs> oh, it gets more and more funny um, a lot of it is like, you do what? you do what? so this is Ros Haddon, right, from Wiltshire Police who is the original police officer who seemed to get very butthurt when I said I didn't want to come in for a voluntary interview because it was so pathetic so, Butthurt Ros Haddon showed me how pathetic a complaint this was because, of course, they sent officers around kicking my door at 4 a.m. in the morning. Where are you? And the neighbours came out and they said, He's not there, his car's not there, his dog's not barking, there's nobody at home. And they continued kicking and knocking the door, which had the neighbours going, Are they not getting this or something? You know, we just told them. Are they not getting it? So anyway, they went away, they came back at 6 a.m. in the morning and did exactly the same thing again. The neighbours are out again like, is there something wrong with you people? Like, is there something wrong with you? Clearly there is, because there's obviously some sort of witch hunt going on here, right? And we will, we will kind of tell you why we think there's a witch hunt, because let's have a look at what they took. <laughs> yeah, right. So this is the stuff they seized. This is a letter I've had back from Ros Haddon, right? A silver Samsung mobile phone, which was sitting on my desk there. This was one of three I was given by my friend who looks after my car's wife, okay? Now she asked me, could I repair these phones? Because <laughs> they were all broken. One came on. I was able to reflash it back to you know, factory defaults, gave it back to her. The other two, completely dead. Won't even charge screen dead so well done wiltshire police right i might save you some time here in telling you <laughs> that a lot of the stuff you've got is just a waste of time so you're going to waste a lot of your own time and money to come up there with just great results yeah you're going to have to repair two mobile phones in order to attempt to find out what's on them great yeah, or, or what are you going to do then? Split them open and try and get the chips out of it, is it? And, and see what's on them. Great, okay, that's going to cost you a lot of money and time for nothing. Right, here's the next thing. My Boblov black body-worn camera. What's that got to do, and with the mobile phones, what have they got to do with me putting a video up on YouTube which offended the Maritzes from Westbury Manor, yeah? What's that got to do with that? And what's it got to do with Benno, the, the fucking retard, yeah? What's it got to do with these people and his complaint that I was going to punch him? Only one time I ever said it, by the way, right? And the Maritzes. What's it got to do with any of that, right? Then they say they took an Insta360 1R camera. What, you mean the one that's in a box? that I haven't used. Okay, now, I don't know if you know about the 1R camera, but I thought, I actually stopped the video and I started again, because I went downstairs. Now, this is my cycle helmet, and this is the actual camera, and I thought, they didn't get that, because I, I saw the camera still there. It's a 360 camera, and it has a lens part, and it has the memory part. The lens part is interchangeable. You can change it for other lenses. You can change it for a GoPro style lens and you can change it for the Leica low light one inch sensor lens. So they took, they took a camera which doesn't have any memory in it. The interchangeable camera part. They didn't take the body. <laughs> really? Okay, this is the sound of one hand clapping for Wiltshire Police ineptitude. Yeah. Applaud. Applaud. Okay. 
So here's some stuff I can kind of understand why the police would go, oh yeah, we've got to take your hard drives and your computer. Really? Yeah, of course, because police are basically bottom feeders. What they do is they wallow around bottom feeding, yeah, looking for any shit they can, right? So because you offend the police, you know, like I offended Roz Haddon, who's like, then she's got to send out the police to teach me a lesson because I would not come in for a voluntary interview. So you get the 4 a.m. door kicking, yeah, and, and waking the neighbours up and causing a real scene in my neighbourhood, which is unjustifiable, by the way. They can't justify that, okay? Because I'm not enough of a imminent threat to anyone to war warrant that sort of behaviour, yeah? So, you know, they clearly, when I put in my complaint, there's going to be heads rolling about that. But I can kind of understand that if you are a bottom feeder and you do work for the police and you like sifting through people's rubbish and tipping their bins out and, you know, going through all their stuff. Yeah, you like all that. Yeah. If you enjoy that, right, if you enjoy rumbling and rummaging through people's crap, then yeah, they kind of like taking hard drives because they, they just go, oh, we'll find out something about him here. And even if it's not to do with what we came there for in the first place, we'll get him for something else. Great. So it's a witch hunt. Yeah, it's a witch hunt. Because why would you be interested in my computer hard drives if the thing that's a, it's apparently you know, offends these Moritzes, exists on YouTube. Shouldn't you be going for Google's hard drives? Because it exists on their hard drives. But just saying, okay, and then what's it got to do with Benno? Yeah, so, I mean, it's it's like, why do they want hard drives? So they took 10 hard drives. Now, most of these hard drives will have come out of machines that are old and being recycled, Okay. So they're going to have operating systems on, business operating systems, business logins for people. And I won't generally even look at them. I'll format them. If I'm going to do something with them, I'll format them. But here's the thing. They've taken 10 random hard drives, but they missed a load of hard drives just down here in a box that says hard drives. And it's a clear plastic box that you can clearly see has lots of hard drives in it. You see where I'm going with this? They don't know what hard drives to take and what hard drives not to take. Or do we have evidence here that this is a bungled search right from the word go? Because they don't know what hard drives to take. We've got laptop hard drives. We've got more laptop hard drives. We've got server hard drives. We've got SSD hard drives. We've got big hard drives. And there's lots more of them like that in this box, right? There's a box in that room that has about another 15 hard drives in it, right? Quite clearly marked, quite easy to spot, right? But apparently... They need 10 hard drives, yeah. but they don't have a clue what, they, what they're actually going for, right? So they're taking a representative sample of these hard drives. Now, surely, if their purpose is to find stuff on the hard drives, then you have to take all the hard drives. Surely you have to take every single hard drive that's in my house which would probably equate to about 30 or 40 hard drives, most of which are too small and too shit to be used, but I'm just a bloody recycler and I keep them. You know, they're not my hard drives. There's no way you're going to catch me with a 180 gig hard drive or an 80 gig hard drive or a 20 gig hard drive or, a, you know, they're all too small. They've come out of systems. They're just waiting to find a use, you know, but they're blood. They're too bloody small. You know, I mean, they're crap and they're old and they're slow and a lot of them are probably broken. You know, these, but they've just grabbed, eh, gr grab some of those. Yeah, get a few of those. Um, 
yeah, yeah, get some of those as well. Um, what's this? Uh, now, right, okay, so I think you get the point, right? They're reaching, yeah, but they don't know what they're doing, yeah? Okay, this is incompetence, yeah? They have not got all my hard drives, so therefore... How can they say they're trying to do a proper investigation where they've grabbed some hard drives? It's stupid, okay? They took a black NVIDIA Shield tablet, okay? What, you mean the one I used to use for my drone flying, but then I started using my mobile phone because it was better? Th you know, that Shield has hardly been used. I think the most I've ever used it was for Google Maps in the car, but it, I didn't have a big enough thing to stick it on the dashboard, so I didn't bother with it. Okay, I bought it, it's hardly been used. You know, we'll, we'll knock yourselves out with that one. Well done. The sound of one hand clapping for the hard drives and the Black Shield tablet. They took two solid state drives. Oh, well, great for you, because there's another one sitting in a box down there you missed. Uh, and there's a few more as well, there's loads you missed, right? So, um, it says an all-in-one hard drive dock with a hard drive in it. Yeah, an old-fashioned hard drive dock. That means something you put a hard drive into and it goes into USB on the back of your computer, right? So you dock the hard drive in. They took a VW car key. Okay, why do they need a car key in relation to a YouTube video about the Maritzes? Car key now. Car key. Open door, closed door. Open door. Why do they need a car key? What is it they need a car key for? Justify it, please. Come on, justify it. Justify it in a court. Why did you take his car key? Why do you need his car key? Why, why are you holding on now, even now, to a car key? What's it got to do with saying to Benno that I am going to punch him, right? Or... The Maritzes that are saying, he's put a video up that's harassing us. What's a car key got to do with the price of fish? You know what I mean? Right, okay. They took a one Western Digital external hard drive. Yes, that's got my drone footage on it and photos. Yeah, there ain't going to be anything dodgy on it, right? I'm not worried about it. I'm not really needing it back in a hurry. Yeah, but there ain't nothing on it. That I know this, right? Because I don't stick dodgy shit on my hard drives. So my conscience is clear, okay? Then they took an Insta360 camera. It's a little camera that's about yay big with two lenses on it, right? It's about that big. And what do you want a 360 camera for? <laughs> they seem mind-blowingly obsessed with cameras. Like cameras will hold evidence will hold things we can do him for. It's all going to be on the cameras, folks. It's all going to be on the cameras. Right, okay, well, my saying to Benno, I was going to punch him, right, uh, was done on a phone. Okay, right, in a phone call message, right. Um, the Maritzes is, is on YouTube. So, again, what would a little innocent... 360 camera have to do with evidence of things like that okay so that's mind-blowing right then they say there are three small hard drives god i just I, you lose track what small hard drives really where where are they from then what are they about and then it says a seagate portable hard drive yeah that was sitting next to the western digital hard drive over there right and yeah it's got lots of my stuff on it great then they say two ddr drive What's DDR drives? What the hell is a DDR drive? I have no idea what they're on about there. Um, one Seagate external hard drive. I really don't know, you know, what they're, you know, this is random shit, you know. Um, right, a JVC video camera. What, one? Don't you mean two? You took two JVC video cameras so that's going to be in question if you're saying you only took one because one's missing then if that's the case right okay um and then, so they don't even have the chargers that go with these cameras you know these camcorders they don't have the chargers and the batteries are dead that are on them so how exactly are you going to view what's on the internal memory 
right? You can't take it out. It's not on an SD card, okay? It's internal memory on these cameras. How are you going to actually inspect what's on those cameras? How are you going to do that? What, you're going to go out and buy a battery charger and a battery to pop it in the cameras, to fire them up, to find out that there's lectures, lectures on ham radio or UFOs or some weird shit. You know, you're going to find out that's what's on those cameras. And and it really, you, you're going to, that's what you're going to have to do to just find out that actually there's no point. Wow. Okay, great. Go for it. If you desperately want to see what's on these old cameras, which I haven't even used in, I don't know, best part of two years, I reckon. Um, so, yeah, a bit silly, isn't it? Anyway, back to the original recording. I just thought I should say. And then it says two DDR drives again. So you've listed that twice. So I don't understand, right? Okay. So then they said camera glasses in case. A camera glasses in case. Why would you take camera glasses? What are you talking about? 3D, 3D glasses? Camera glasses? What? What are these? What are they on about? They gave me back laser, laser protection glasses, which are kind of like these, except they're dark brown, huge things, right? They took laser protection glasses in a case and they gave those back to me in the police station. What, because you realised how stupid it was to have a pair of sunglasses, is it? You realise, why not Why not take these? Why not take these? Look, look, he was looking at his computer when he committed the crime. Uh, take them, they were used in the commission of a crime. Uh, why didn't you take them? They were sitting down there, why didn't you take these? Yeah? Come on, if you're going to follow on your stupid logic, why don't you, why don't you just follow it all the way? Yeah? Okay, right. They took a compact PC that was sitting down there and they'd done me a favour because the piece of shit single core, three gigs of RAM, and I honestly should have just taken it and thrown it out, which I have done with a lot of the computers. I've got so many computers in this house, right, recycled, waiting to be recycled, and I just forget about them. And you just put it out of your mind and then they just start stacking up. I've started throwing computers out now. There's a stack of them out the back garden. You know, they only got hard drives in them. Yeah, they had the hard drive taken out. It's just big boxes, just wasting space, never going to get used. Yeah, and the police are all interested and up in the hard drives. Ooh, it's a hard drive, get his hard drives. And it's like, really? Well, how come you forget hard drives like this then? That are just sitting on the side. Oh, fuck. Right, I'm going to have to edit this video because I, yeah, uh, it's got my telephone number on it. How come you forget this, which says... It's, it's a backup of something that I was working on. So it's obviously a real hard drive and it's there and it's just sitting on the side. And you didn't bother with that, right? They also took an iPad in a Peli case. Well, a Peli case means a protective case. It's a, you know, so you don't, so you coat, so you don't damage it. Yeah, which I'm going to talk about in a minute because the police, last time they got hold of my computer gear, they smashed everything, right? And I had to put in a, a court case to get my money for it. And they were going, no, it's fair wear and tear. And it's like, no, I don't think, I don't think a magistrate is going to see it that way in court. Uh, no, I don't think so. And they realised that they were going to have to pay for all the stuff they smashed. Yeah, and they did. So, won that one, didn't I? So, and I've put police complaints in in the past. And I've had my police complaint I put in in the past was upheld. So I was right. Yeah, I was right and i'm gonna be right here too i'm gonna be absolutely right here when this goes and gets complained about yeah because kicking people's doors at four in the morning and six in the morning goes against wiltshire's police's own codes of practice yeah their own guidelines so they broke their own guidelines and were heavy-handed right they didn't ha even they didn't have a warrant to come in my premises because if they'd had a warrant they would have kicked the door in and gone in and started searching there and then. So they didn't have a warrant. Oh dear. But then later on, they come in my house, search the place. But you didn't have a warrant. Oh, well. So how do you how do you manage that then? How do you justify coming in and taking a load of shit, right? Well, what do they seem interested in? They're interested in cameras. 
So what about this one then? What about that camera there? What about this camera just sitting on the side? Why didn't you go for this one? This is a video camera. Oh, is it because it's got the word 3D written on it? Oh, oh, you're not interested in three-dimensional evidence. What, you're only interested in two-dimensional evidence? Is it? Here's the sound of one hand clapping. Ros Haddon. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. So you left some, you left, you left a video camera on the side, but you took two cameras next to it, two camcorders. You took a head, a head um, attachment for my 360 camera over there. Did I show you this? I think I did. Um, you took that, you left, uh, you left a box down here full of video cameras, right? So what, so what was it? What is it? That means some cameras need to be seized and other cameras shouldn't be seized. These these are camcorders. They take video footage. Why did you take some cameras and not others? What possible what possible excuse could you have for taking some hard drives and not others? Yeah? Are you really looking for evidence of something? Are you really looking for credible evidence? that was going to help you in this case of harassment that I've done. Are you honestly looking for credible evidence or are you just fishing around and messing about? I would say you're just fishing around and messing about. Yeah, you're not looking for correct evidence. You're not looking to put the case together properly. You're just getting in somebody's house to make a bloody point and you're just taking random shit, yeah, just to make a point, yeah? And that's going to be part of my police complaint as well, is that it was a bungled search, you were inconsistent in what you took, yeah? And what you took was random, yeah? It was random stuff, and it had nothing to do with the complaints in hand, it was just grabbed arbitrarily grabbed randomly and you know this is this is pathetic it's utterly pathetic i mean what what are, what are camera glasses why would you take camera glasses like camera glasses right um oh i know what i know what those were jesus do you know what i bought this 20 quid pair of glasses that are supposedly like secret recorders you put a little SD card, you put a little SD card in the side, you charge them up, right? They un only record for about 20, 30 minutes until the battery goes dead. And the quality is abysmal. And also they look like fake glasses because they've got really cheap plastic and they look so fake. How you could walk around and people, you know, think that you're wearing real glasses is beyond me. Oh, so they took those. Yes. Now. Oh, right. So. I've never actually used them to do anything secretive or, you know, stealthy. I've never actually used these glasses. So they took those. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, my God. Aren't they just, they just, this is amazing. What do they think they are going to see? You know, what, what do they think they're going to find? This is, this is amazing. Like, you know, I mean, wow. And, and yeah. <laughs> Oh my God. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to put in a complaint about it all and the handling of it. And the, uh, I, I sent him a, I sent him a letter actually. I was quite cheeky. Um, some people say, oh, you shouldn't goad the mat, but why not? Why shouldn't I goad them? Yeah. If they're stupid, if this, if they're as stupid as they appear to be, right. Why not tell them they're stupid? Yeah. Why not say, did you realize what you've done is absolutely stupid? Yeah. And it's like, here we are. I said, thank you for getting me back, getting back to me with the list. This is to Roz Haddon. Right? I should, I said, I should point out that it's rather pathetic to kick somebody's door at 4 a.m. Uh, and 6 a.m. And that will be part of my comprehensive complete uh, police complaint. I said, good luck, good luck sifting through old hard drives, many of which didn't originate from me. Desperate to try and get me for anything you can. And then I put in brackets, general underhand police bottom feeder tactics. Yeah. And you're grabbing, grabbing very distantly unrelated items. 
which will also be part of my complaint. OK, because it's random stuff anyway. anyway. So um, you may wish to know that I'm also now counterclaiming for both assault and harassment from the respective applicable parties who have done have done so to me through Hampshire and Kent forces. I, I will also be making a complaint of police hypocrisy in how they refuse to deal with complaints from myself in relation to threats of harassment um, against me, yet you come down a, like a ton of bricks on myself when people just utter um, a moan pointing in my direction, completely forgetting their own actions. Let's see if we can get some of you demoted and bounced off the force. My last police complaint was upheld, just so you know. Okay? Oh, and just before you get any ideas, I've put this in. Oh, so just before you get any ideas about smashing up my kit, just be aware that the last time police thoroughly, systematically destroyed my electronic stuff, I took Wiltshire Police to court and got every penny for the items which were destroyed. So... If you wish to lump your force with a huge bill on top of the incompetence complaint, that is your choice. And I put I put in quotes, fair wear and tear, as the police put it last time, just doesn't cut it in a court of law. OK, because that's what they said last time is they said we oh, all this stuff that we had of his, which is now broken. Yeah. OK, that's just fair wear and tear. Really? Oh yeah, I'll be happy to see you in court and get some money for that stuff. A lot of which, <laughs> some of it, was actually going to be up for sale anyway. So, hey, I won't have to even put some of that stuff on eBay or Gumtree. I won't have to put it on there because if you smash it up, you'll be doing me a favour because I can just claim for the value of those items and I won't have to sell them second hand now. So, well done. There's the sound of one hand clapping. Oh, it's deafening, isn't it? Wow. And I said, oh, sorry. I, I, well, I put, I put, I guess you will take, be taken off this case when my complaint is read. Because unbeknown, well, a lot of you probably don't know, but when you put in a police complaint, whoever are the people who are involved in investigating your case, because it'll probably be ongoing, yeah? So if I put in a complaint now, when the case is actually underway, they have to take those people who are on the case off the case and put other people in place because they can't allow people that you're complaining about to continue on with the case. It has to be allocated to somebody else. So guess what? Ross Haddon, who's the original person who had the tantrum with me and decided to get heavy over a harassment thing yeah, on YouTube, and over me saying once I'm going to punch somebody, right? I mean, Christ, can you imagine how many times people would have their houses searched if every, like, if everybody who's, who was in a pub and somebody said, you know, like, you're looking at my missus, I'm going to punch you. Can you imagine how many complaints, if everybody complained to the police like this, right? How many, how many houses would be searched every weekend, right, when everyone's out drinking? Can you imagine? It's just ridiculous, right? So the fact they've gone so in so hard... And so quick, quick with this, right, is is amazing to me. So I've literally said, you know, I guess you'll be taken off the case when my complaint is read. Yeah. And I think it's probably a good idea because if there are people who are in the police force who are obviously driving this forward, right, for personal reasons or political reasons. Yeah. Then they are going to get their asses kicked off dealing with this case and I think that's a much better thing because hopefully whoever gets put in place won't be put in there because they've got some sort of butthurt problem with me or don't like my urbex channel or have been spoken to by special branch or caution about me right they'll be different people okay so they're not going to be hand-picked they're going to be different people yeah and they're not going to be ones that have issues with me, you know, their own little personal issues. Because this seems this seems political and this seems personal to me, right? Because why take so many cameras, right? Because it's not about the complaint in hand. It's about Urbex channel. Urbex channel. That's what this is about. Grab all his hard drives. Let's find out what he's up to. 
Yeah, let's see if we can find out what he's up to. Yeah, right. Oh, we'll find some evidence on his hard drives of illegal activity, is it? No, you won't. You won't. Because I don't do that. You know, I mean, it's just like, knock yourselves out. Here's the sound of one hand clapping. So I finish it. The final comment on my letter is, say hi to Special Branch and Caution for me. <laughs> yeah, because this is where I think a lot of this is yet again motivated from. OK, they can only come in and search my house if I get arrested. But of course, they wouldn't have come in and searched my house had they not been primed to do it by Special Branch and Caution. Because every time I get in trouble with the police, they want to search my house. Yeah. Why? Every time. Because it's intimidation. Because it's trying to get something. They're trying to get something. You know, something. We've got to get something on Williams. Yeah. So it's a witch hunt. It's a witch hunt. It's politically motivated. It's it's nothing to do with the, uh, the complaints at hand. It's to do with being heavy handed because they've been told to. OK. And that is why they will probably get pulled over the coals for what they've done here because they won't be able to justify what they've done and they've done such a bad job of it the evidence they've gathered is inconsistent to what could be here they just sampled a few bits of it so why bother at all if it's not going to be a real representation of what's here a real full representation of what's here why bother because you are likely statistically to fail in what you're trying to do so why bother unless of course you're just trying to make a point and there we go so thank ugh. thank you very much for watching and yeah i'm not really that worried about the stuff they've taken it's just a joke you know but they can hold on to it for a while it doesn't affect me i'm still out there doing my shit i'm still doing filming still doing my stuff doesn't affect me yeah the only thing that pisses me off is i had to spend an afternoon in the cells right and i have to put up with stupid police trying to search my house making a pig's ear of the search and everything else relating to this investigation so-called investigation so no doubt they will be very butthurt now and doubling down on desperately trying to find something to do me for because uh, 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 he's complaining about us yeah well get over it get over it children get over it yeah which is probably what you should have done when you should have just come around and arrested me and just been done with it but you had to go in with a heavy-handed tactics didn't you oh dear Here's the sound of one hand clapping and hopefully here's the sound ka chunk of the door closing behind you when you get demoted or possibly chucked off the force. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Hmm. Yeah, whatever. But like I said, I have had to complain about the police in the past and it was upheld. So, yeah, I'm not I'm not stupid. So, yes, I can put in a good complaint. So with that said, Thank you very much for watching, and this is an open book. I want you to know exactly what's going on, because it pisses me off that I'm having to, you know, put up with this shit. How many times have you searched my house? Right, it's getting a bit obvious now, isn't it? Yeah, what you do to me and the harassment that I receive is getting a little bit obvious, isn't it? Yes, so thanks very much for watching.
all in good fun. Pop goes the 